And now I'm going to show you how to give your old ceramic wall tiles a new lease on life. Preparing your surface is vital to a good job. This is where a lot of DIYers get it wrong. You need to use all three products in the White Knight Tile and Laminate System. The Tile and Laminate Cleaner, Tile and Laminate Primer and the Tile Paint. Calculate how much paint you'll need by multiplying the length of your walls by the height. This will give you square meterage. Divide this by 12 and it will tell you how much paint you'll need. Use masking tape to mask off walls and taps and put drop tips over your floors. Fix any cracked grout or cracked tiles with new grout or polyfiller. Start by cleaning your tiles using White Knight Tile and Laminate Cleaner. This will get rid of grease, soap scum and other dirt. Spray at least 20 centimetres from the surface and wipe it clean with a wet sponge or a cloth, doing a small area at a time. Stubborn stains and grease might need the cleaner on for up to 30 seconds. If they're really stubborn, you might need to use a plastic scourer. If you've got any mould, give it a scrub with one part bleach to three parts of water and rinse it thoroughly with fresh clean water. Once dry, give the tiles a light sand with 240 grit wet and dry sandpaper. This will help paint adhesion and give an even better finish. Then wash and rinse again. Let the tiles dry thoroughly. Clean up your sponges or cloths in the water. Okay, your tiles are dry now. Your next step is to prime them. That'll help your paint stick better. White Knight Tile and Laminate Primer provides great adhesion and has microband, which protects against mould, mildew and fungus. Now give the primer a good stir. Half fill a roller tray with the primer. And remember, never paint straight from the tin. You'll get paint around the rim, which will mean the tin doesn't seal properly and will ruin the paint for later. Here's a tip, don't overfill your roller. It should be a little less than half submerged. Now just working on an area a few tiles wide at a time, apply one even smooth coat with a mini microfiber roller and using a brush to get in all the little fiddly bits. Apply the primer in a zigzag pattern to get good cover and then without reloading your roller, do the final roll in one direction from the top to the bottom. Wash your brush and roll in soap and water as soon as you've finished. Okay, the primer's touch dry in about two hours. Recoat in about four. If the weather's cold, leave it a little bit longer. Okay, now your primer's dry. We're gonna give it a light sand with some 240 grit. Okay, dust that down, wipe it down, and it's ready for the white knight tile paint. And we're gonna need two coats and a light sand between coats. White Knight Tile Paint also includes microband to help protect against mould and mildew. It can also be tinted to the colour of your choice and has a gloss finish. If you want a satin finish, apply White Knight Laminate Paint over your ceramic wall tiles instead. So give your paint a good stir and half fill a roller tray with the paint. Paint any fiddly bits with a brush. Now load your roller up evenly and not with too much paint. You're better off to do two thin coats and one thick one. Give the roller a tap before taking it out of the tray. This will get rid of any excess that might cause drips. Apply your first coat in the same zigzag motion as the primer, just doing a small area, maybe a couple of tiles wide at a time. Do a last roll without reloading your roller, going in one direction, top to bottom. Now, between coats, put your roller and your brush in a bucket of water so they don't dry out. And when you're ready to start painting again, take them out and squeeze the water out of them. Now the paint will be touch dry after about two hours, but wait at least six hours for the paint to be completely dry before you start recoating. When the first coat is dry, give the tiles a light sand using 600 grit sandpaper. Give your paint another good stir. It might have settled while you're waiting for the first coat to dry. Apply your second coat in the same zigzag pattern, finishing off with a nice smooth stroke in one direction so the finish is smooth. When you finish, clean up your brushes and roller in White Knight Rust Guard solvent. Give your White Knight grout pen a good shake with its cap on. Then depress the nib several times and hold it at an angle to allow good paint flow. On vertical surfaces, work from the bottom upwards. You can do your second coat after one hour. Okay, your paint's touch dry in about two hours, fully dry in eight, and fully cured in about a week. And you need to protect it from hard knocks and harsh cleaning for at least that amount of time. For more info on products, colours and application, check out the White Knight website or ask your paint specialist.